We're just experts in play. <laughs> Not on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sorry. disgusting. All the, the nurses and the staff here and the doctors, they're all concerned with the future, making people better. We're concerned with the present and playing in the present. Bye. I like your socks, by the way. It's kind of like my sickness always like, it's always just there. Like having fun is just all I think about when people are over not thinking about my pain or anything. A lot of people think that maybe the addos might not go for us. They're like, oh, I don't know if they're into clowns, but we, we kind of just work with wherever anyone's at. Really, we've found like anyone from zero to, you know, like a thousand and fifty, um, we can find a way to engage and play with. And now this is really exciting because we're going to introduce someone that everyone loves and their name is Olivia. She loved it. Yes, um, she was, yes you did, to laugh and kind of forget about all the medical stuff that's going on around her. Um, yeah, I think it's really nice that they have these programs here. Oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Playing basketball, like, it's always fun. And like having the doc, like the current doctors come, make my day better, just makes me like, have more hope, like getting back into it soon. Therapeutic clowning is much more about connection. We're not necessarily trying to come in there and make you laugh. We're not trying to make you do anything, really. Kids in hospital uh, have a lot of demands on them and they can be a little bit powerless in the hospital. And so our job is kind of to hand them back some power and to figure out what their emotional needs might be in that room. And sometimes they might need a good laugh and sometimes they might just need to like chuck toilet paper everywhere and get angry or they might need to have a cry. And so we just take all of our cues from the patient and it does give them a lot of power. They become directors. Whee! Whee! Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful.